Okay, finally going to get this off my to-do list. Hello everyone. This is the unboxing of my Faber-Castell Polychromos, which I actually got around Christmas time. They were a Christmas gift, basically. <laughs> I had um, some people give me some gift cards to Amazon, and I had some Amazon dollars and all this stuff, and I was able to get myself the Big Daddy set of Faber-Castells. So yeah, they come in a tin, in a sealed, they, it was a sealed box, literally with like Faber-Castell tape. It was all taped in a box, wrapped in bubble wrap, in a bigger box, you know, it was done well. So they've been sitting in the box ever since because I've just been feeling a little overwhelmed with everything lately, but that and it just, you almost want to keep them perfect. In a perfect world, I would love to have a set for display and a set to use. <laughs> So ridiculous, but some of you might understand. So anyway, like I said, this is 120 set, so it's huge. It comes like so, and then you go like so, and there's another row of gorgeousness, and then you do it again. So yeah, so gorgeous. And there's actually, I can't, without flipping these over, there is foam underneath. Um, each tray so that they are packed very very well they arrived pristine absolutely pristine they are so pretty so yeah Faber Castell is based in Germany I'm not sure if that's where they shipped out or if they just shipped from the US so yeah I know the biggest question I'm gonna get how do these compare to Prismacolors um, because I do have the whole set of or what used to be the whole set of Prismacolors mine are just in little Prismacolors I had when I got them, they came in a tin too, not quite as nice as this, but they did come in a tin and a tray and that, but that was 10 plus years ago. Um, and I keep them just stored in soup cans. I've done a video on my Prismacolors. Um, not being an artist, I can't give a lot of technical aspects of um, the, the differences, but what I do know is Prismacolors are wax-based pigment. These are the Prisma, they're the, the Prismacolor. These are, they don't even say on here for the premiere. Anyway, the Prismacolors are wax-based. Faber-Castell polychromos are oil-based. So you can use them interchangeably, like on the same drawing or coloring and that sort of thing. Um, they're just different. So here I've got Carmine Red and Carmine Red, just keep it as similar. So basically the biggest differences are polychromos have a solid color end to them. Prism colors don't, but they do have the lead exposed so you can see the color. Um, both have the name on them. Um, it is etched in, both are etched in. My Prism colors when I originally got them, I don't know if they, that's changed, but when I got them, they were not sharpened, so I had to sharpen all of them. The cramps I had in my hands after sharpening them all. So these already come pre-sharpened, so that's really nice, but Prism colors might. And yeah, I like color. Like to have the options, need to own all the things. So I'm excited. I'm excited. You guys will see me use them interchangeably. Um, these, the polychromos, I think, from what I understand, they're a little bit firmer than Prismacolors. So that was the polychromos. And the color range is different. These are both supposed to be the same. This is Carmine. So the top one is the polychromos. That one is Prismacolor. So the colors are different. That was really my main reason. I just like having all the shades of all the colors possible. So... Yeah, there's my very brief unboxing, mini, mini, mini review um, of these. If you really, if you are more of an artist and looking for more of an art aspect, definitely Google it, YouTube it. There's a lot of artists out there who have done comparisons and blog posts and videos giving you all the infos you need to know. I'm just a card maker, so I can't give those types of technical um, in-depth looks. That's also why I kind of put off doing this video was because I just, I just like to color. Um, 
I don't know the technical aspects of it. I just, I just like all the pretty colors. And like I said, if I could have a set of these, just a frame, like all the rainbow colors, like how gorgeous. I don't even, that's another reason why I haven't been using them yet is because I just, I don't want to disturb the perfectness of it all. <laughs> I know I'm a little crazy and my OCD is just starting to show, but yeah, it's a beautiful set. I probably will eventually store them similarly to how I'm storing my Prisma colors because I like to be able to just grab colors as I need them and not have to fiddle with a set. But for those that like to take their things with them and travel with them and that sort of thing, um, this tin is perfect for that. And like I said, it's got the foam backing on here so it keeps everything very well. I would add, if I was going to like take this anywhere, I would probably add a really thin piece of like felt or foam too to this top piece and then like maybe tape down the lid just to keep everything like secure. But it's a beautiful, beautiful set. Um, I'll link to it on Amazon. This set's very, it's it's expensive, very pricey. Like I said, I had gift cards and Amazon dollars and all that kind of stuff saved up to get it. Um, I don't see it going on sale very often. I think it was a little bit on sale when I got it. Where the, the Prisma colors go on sale somewhat frequently, I have found links to the Prisma colors for under $150 for the full set of Prisma colors. This set is about twice that much on average, so it just depends. But yeah, if I find a link of it on sale and that, I always share that kind of stuff on my Facebook page, um, as well as links to any other random sales and that sort of thing. Um, when I find them and hear about them, I always share. So check out my Facebook page. I have a link to it in the description box below the video. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and you will be seeing me use these soon. Oh, and before I forget, Here's another option for people. I know I get a lot of comments about just, I can't afford this. Some of it is just simple fact. Other people, I get quite a bit of hate about having expensive or more expensive coloring options, tools, whatever. Honestly, whatever floats your boat, whatever works for you. Some people have different passions. Some people like to spend a lot of money on booze. I like to spend my money on coloring supplies and paper crafting tools. Anyway, another option though, Honestly, and I know this is silly when you're looking at like, woo, but these are great. I have, I picked up a set for my kids. I'm always buying them little coloring supplies and stuff too. Um, but you know what, Crayola pencil crayons are great. You know, they're not super high quality, but they're decent pencils. Like this is just red and yeah, you know, you get a decent color payoff with them. So, if you're just starting out or you're a child, you know, teenager, or you know what, you're just not sure if you're gonna even like using colored pencils, get yourself a set of Crayola. You can find them at the drugstore. Um, bigger sets, I found this set at, I think, Staples. This big 60s set, which my kids absolutely loved. So I picked up a second set for me and sometimes you can use a coupon, whatever. So anyway, that is a great option. I've seen people do gorgeous work with, um, with Crayolas. Um, another thing that people are going to ask because I, and I forgot to show is can you use odorless mineral spirits with these? And yes, you can. You can use it with all of them. Um, that's the big thing that usually we like to do with like Prismacolors and coloring and stamped images is blending them out with odorless mineral spirits. I've done a separate video on OMS with my Prismacolors and then talked about this jar, so I'm not going to get into it here. Um, but yes, you totally, totally can. So I just have some smooth cardstock here. This is Polychromos blending stump. Get it coated with some mineral spirits. And yeah, totally blends like a dream actually. Does it ever blend nice? So yeah, blends out really well. Um, Crayola, same thing. Okay, let's do some Crayola. There you go. Basically the older list mineral spirits just breaks down the binding agent in the pencil, whether it be oil-based. Crayola I assume is wax-based. Um, the Prismacolor, same thing. Like they're all great for this technique. So. Really fun, really fun. You can use them all interchangeably. That's 
that's the great thing about all this kind of stuff. So yeah, that's it for now. And I will see you guys later. Bye.